Good evening everyone. So on tonight's little video vlog, I'm going to talk to you about mask mapping. So mask mapping is basically using more than one mask in different areas of your face so that they can work really well. So a lot of people tend to have quite combination skin. So it's not sort of just dry, oily. Everyone's skin's different and some people tend to have skin that's like different parts have different problems so yeah I am going to show you some mask mapping and how that works so first of all my cheeks tend to be the most oiliest area so I'm going to use our clear skin mask on this one so I was going to try out our mask spatula but I think that I'll stick to the good old-fashioned fingers while I'm trying out mask mapping because this is the first time I've tried mask mapping so the first time I'm trying it is trying it with you guys which is very exciting so I'll pop some of this one on my cheeks like this anywhere that I have quite oiliness quite redness that's where I'm putting it So my nose also tends to be quite oily, so popping that just there. Looking cool, right? Look at that sweat look. Okay. So once that's done, obviously wash my hands before using one of the other masks. is done and now i'll move on to areas that are quite dry so for this one i'm going to use our deep hydration mask so i find my most dry sort of areas tend to be more on my chin on my forehead so i'm going to do some mask mapping just uh, this is the first time i've tried this one and it smells gorgeous like all tropic products like i don't even need to say that anymore they all smell unreal so I need a small amount and I'm using quite a lot. I'm gonna put this just here because this area tends to get quite dry. And the sides of my face is Face is the side of my face, should I say? Can be quite dry, so that's all that's going there. So, the next one I'm going to use is our facelift serum. So, I'm going to use this on areas that are quite prone to like fine lines, wrinkles. At the moment, being 28, I don't have a massive amount of wrinkles, thankfully. I mean, I still get ID'd, but it will catch up with me. I know one day I'm going to stop getting ID'd and it'll be sad times, but yeah, it's never too early to start. So, one is the forehead because that's where sort of fine lines wrinkles tend to form pop some of that just there so you can do this in any sort of area so if you find one area tends to be slightly oily that's different to mine just pop it there so yeah, if you find that your forehead tends to be quite oily, but your cheeks tend to be quite dry, do it that way. You've got to work with your skin and what suits your skin, because everyone's skin's differently, like, everyone's skin works in a different way, so it is sort of trying what's best for you, and sort of some trial and error as well, so seeing sort of what suits you. So all the areas I find tend to get sort of those fine lines. Uh, getting this treatment today. Looking funky, right? <laughs> 
So with my mask, I tend to leave them on for about 20 minutes because my skin's quite blemish prone, quite oily, and I tend to use the clear skin mask more than most of the others. And I find that 20 minutes is a good time for me. But some people tend to go for 10 minutes. It does sort of vary from person to person and finding what's best for you. But I'd say it's a starting point. Probably start with between 10 and 15 minutes. Set the timer and go and watch your film, which is what I'm going to do now. So I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial on mask mapping. And I will speak to you all soon, I'm sure, for another lovely little vlog of me being socially awkward. But... Still loving to talk to you all and still loving to share these amazing products. So, bye bye.